Good day, learners! In the previous lessons, you have accomplished understanding the concepts and acquiring skills in determining the uses of properties that tell whether materials are useful and or harmful. You have also investigated the materials under the effects of two conditions where there is presence or absence of oxygen and the application of heat on materials. You can still go back to the properties of the different materials around you or those that can be found at home and in your local community. This will help you to recognize the importance of recycle, reduce, reuse, recover, and repair in waste management. These skills will enable you to design products out of local, recyclable solid and or liquid materials in making useful products. Let us start by looking at the pictures of waste materials found in the kitchen and at home. Examine each picture. recognize the process or way by which you can help to save the environment at home and in the community through waste management? Waste management is the process by which materials that have been used, broken, disposed, and are no longer in good conditions are managed in a way that they can be reused, reduced, recycled, recovered, and repaired. These five R's in waste management are very important, especially in this time of pandemic, that our way of living has been adversely affected by community quarantine at different levels. If you will reduce, reuse, recycle, recover and repair materials that have been considered as waste, you can contribute a lot in your environment. One way to manage waste in the environment is to reduce the use of plastics. Plastics are non-biodegradable. You learned in the previous lesson that plastics can live for hundreds of years. Thus, you need to reduce the use of plastics. It is better to bring eco bag for storage and keeping of grocery items. Another way to reduce plastics is to have own tumbler that can be used to limit the use of plastic bottle for drinking. Plastics are also good materials to recycle. Recycle is reusing the same material to make a new product. Plastic bottles can be recycled as flower vase or pencil holder. Do you have computer or any gadget at home? If yes, there are times that these gadgets or appliances at home are damaged or lose some of its parts. Of course, it is not practical to dispose these materials because they can still be recovered by looking for replacement material that are available in the market, hardware, or in other stores. If your dress or clothes lose some buttons or have been damaged by wear and tear of materials, you seek the help of your mother to repair these materials. Reusing items at home instead of buying new ones can help to reduce waste. In the kitchen, 
it is better to replace all the single-use eating utensils like styrofoam cups, water bottles, and paper plates with compostable or reusable alternatives. You can also bring your own bag in the grocery stores. In storing foods, durable plastic containers are very practical. Instead of using disposable batteries in running appliances or gadgets, rechargeable batteries are recommended. Repair is to fix something that is broken, damaged, split or not working properly. Example of repairs that you can do at home are sewing the cut or holes in the pocket of your pants. You can seek help from elders to repair some leaks in the faucets, electrical appliances, and cracks in the walls of your house. To reuse some waste in the kitchen, you can collect some materials that can be prepared as organic fertilizers in your garden. This is called composting. Composting is one way to reuse organic material that may otherwise may end up in a landfill. In designing useful products, there are some steps and tips that you may follow to come up with rewarding results of your genuine effort and skills making new products out of local and used materials. First, you need to determine the available local materials that are largely available at home or in your nearby places and community. Then, study the properties of these local materials or used, broken, damaged, or repairable materials. Next, create new products that are useful out of these materials by adding some aesthetic sense on them by watching videos, TV, or looking for some references that may guide you in creating new materials. <music> Lastly, as much as possible, seek help from elders to enjoy doing your activities in reducing, reusing, recycling, recover and repair of materials to design local products that are useful out of these waste materials. Examine the following pictures of new products out of local and used materials at home. our lesson for today. I hope you learned something from the discussion. 
Kita Kids in the next lessons. Until next time, goodbye.